but yeah, no, I don't, that's not gonna that's not gonna uh, affect me pulling the trigger. Okay. Nice. How are you gonna deal with all the added pressure of the Bournemouth Stadium, where this sort of all this event is it's based around you, really? You know, you're the you know the main selling factor. It's all based around you. How are you gonna sort of deal with all those things? Yeah, I mean, the only reason he's the A side on the on the card is because obviously he's got the world title. Um, I love that pressure. I always have done, and there's even add, more added pressure since his last fight because. No one wants to watch Lawrence and like everyone wants to see him get beat. So I've got a whole country tuned into Sky Sports that are going to want to see me win. So I've got to, I've got to be the saviour of, uh, of the British cruiserweight boxing scene. So uh, that's even more added pressure, but that's more pressure, which I absolutely welcome. Do you feel like you're getting Lawrence at the best time now after a potential disappointed fight against David Light? Uh, no, I think the best time would have been the David Light fight. But I think now he's going to be a much more improved version of, of, of Lawrence compared to the last one. Um, like he said, he's got time to bed in some things with, with sugar um, and do do what he, they need to do in, in camp and, you know, improve himself. Um, but it's the best time for me because I'm in the best shape of my life. I've, you know, changed a few things up in training since Lawrence left the gym and uh, you'll, you'll see them on fight night. Has he seen the best of you yet or did, should he not look into the spas and same with you? Do you think you've seen the best of Nicole from the spas? Uh, I think we've seen the best of Lawrence because Shane's an unbelievable coach um, and I think Shane's the best coach in the world. Um, so for me, that's that's why I think we've we've seen the best of Lawrence, but he won't be shy of that. Like, he won't be far off that on, on fight night. Um, it's me, you know. He, in, in his eyes, I imagine he's thinking he cannot lose to, you know, a gym mate who was early, I was earlier on in my career. So I was, you know, boxing at a lower level to him. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, I, he's not definitely not seen the best of me yet. You, um, when Lawrence said, look, it's different when you put on the gloves and you go to fight in the ring, you kind of looked over to Shane and laughed. Do you feel that like you know him inside out, Chris? Yeah, I think that uh, that is that is a factor in the fight, but maybe not for the reasons he thinks it is. If you had it your way, would you be fighting a different opponent, a Gulamarian? Because if you uh, rewind a few weeks ago, maybe there was a feeling that you two wouldn't fight each other because of the respect there. The respect's still there, but you are fighting each other now. So if you had it your way, would you be fighting someone else? Um, in hindsight, no. I wish we'd, we'd try to chase this fight sooner uh, because it's got a fire in my belly, which I didn't even realize was there. Um, obviously, a world title fight is a world title fight, but when it's someone you know and it's an all British clash, um, you know, that brings out the best in, in fights and build ups to fights and things like that. And, and it brings in the best of fighters. When people know your opponent, it helps a hell of a lot. Because if I go and fight Gulamirian and no one knows him because they've never seen him on TVs over here, it's different. But I know the dangers he poses, but everyone knows the dangers that Lawrence poses. I know them. Me and Shane know them best. And, uh, you know, so in hindsight now, I'm really, really pleased that this is the fight that's, uh, that and it's almost. In a weird way, the way it's come about, it feels like some sort of destiny. You're, you're really the oldest head at the gym. You're the, the captain in the sense now that Lawrence has left. Look, is there a little bit of, look, you've left, I'm going to show you? Uh, yeah, I guess. So look, I, I go about things, I go about my business and that's, that's that. And uh, Lawrence will be doing the same. Um, the gym's in a really good place at the moment and uh, everyone's flying. There's world title fights, uh, a plenty coming up this year. So there's a lot of uh, champions. So... Uh, I'm going to put it in now that this time next year, Shane will be uh, trainer of the year for sure because he's going to have a lot more world champions. Chris, fighting in your hometown, fighting for world title. Just tell us, what does this mean to you as an athlete, as a person? Yeah, as a person, it means a huge amount. Um, I've always, you know, been a, a people's person. I get on with people from all walks of life. And um, to have, uh, and I also got into the sport because of atmosphere and me and Isaac's fight was an incredible atmosphere. The last fight, incredible atmosphere. So now we've got a football stadium, home of my beloved AFC Bournemouth, who, you know, I've I had a season to get up and dreamed of playing on the pitch one day, but wasn't good enough uh, for football. So I've had to forge my way another way. And here we are. And uh, to realise my dream there, um, it, it means a huge, huge amount. <laughs> No, I haven't. I, I've, I've heard obviously since I've been here. Um, I didn't see any of the news. So uh, yeah, it, um, yeah. I, who knows? I don't. I don't know enough about the situation. And even you know, I think it was after the Kelbrook fight I saw. So no, I, I, I don't really know the situation. He's retired. 
Um, there's plenty of negatives in boxing, but I think people have got to try and focus on the positives, and that's this show. We've got four British cruiserweights all fighting each other. One for one's a British title fight and one's a world title fight, and these shows don't come around often, so let's focus on the positives. Is this the type of fight that you feel, look, it's a stadium show. You've been featured on Sky Sports prominently. This could maybe potentially, you put in a good performance, you get the win, could push you towards a pay-per-view uh, berth maybe in the next few fights. Yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of pay-per-views get made off of bad blood. Obviously, that's not really been my, my style, but I have got a son. And I do, I do want to give them the best life possible. So who knows? I might start flipping tables and chucking tears or something, or slapping some people up. No, uh, no, you know that that's great if we can get to that. In in terms of for for my purse, but uh, yeah, what what will happen with pay per view and stuff will happen. I've got to uh, focus on the next seven weeks and just once I become world champion, then the world's my oyster. That's